Welcome everybody to a TAC interview, and I've got two special guests with me at this time, creators of Law Wookie Abridge and the most popular When's the Next episode coming out, Bleach Abridge, <laughs> Uni Squad 7, ladies and gentlemen. Hi there. It's not, it hasn't even been a minute, you've already mentioned Bleach. This is going well, down there's, you look, yeah. you, you gotta admit, I don't know if I'm okay with this. some people that are gonna actually watch this and post it in the comments section, when is Bleach coming out? <clears throat> never. Again, ever. It's never, there's it's, not, there's yeah, no there's, more Bleach. Not. With that basically out of the way, um, how are you guys doing tonight? Look, Spiritually? Physically? Steve? Oh god. Um, it totally skipped for a second, and I missed the question completely. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just gonna say, um, 1993 was a big, a big deal for me. Uh, you were three. Really got into skateboarding that year. I was three. I was three, so it was really impressive. I hit all the major circuits. And, should we, uh, should we introduce ourselves? Um, yeah, why don't you guys go ahead and introduce yourselves to the audience? Uh, hello there, I'm Knitmonger, uh, from Scoony Squad 7, now the Scoony Cave, and, uh, m my job is to write stuff and then, uh, yell at Steve to edit it. My job is... Cool. Actually, I don't, they don't need to know that. <laughs> why would they need to know that my name's Steve and that I edit things? Like, why? Should There's nothing... Is, I imagine. I, well, now they know. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Anything <editing> else? <laughs> I write things too. So. <laughs> I assume that part will be edited out. <laughs> uh, it probably won't be, but uh, I think Is internet see... dropping. <laughs> what? <laughs> His internet dropping. He's not there. Really? There he is. Okay, continue. <laughs> yeah, it's my fault. This yeah, it's gonna happen still... a lot, so I just have to edit. Yeah, it. yeah, just get over it. Oh, it's, it's still recording anyway, so that's, like, okay. good anyways. Uh, but one thing we do need to, like, try to tell people before we get to some of the questions. Uh, Steve, why don't you introduce everybody that is listening to this right now to your favorite passion? To my favorite Your favorite, your favorite passion. To, are you talking about Jim and the Holograms? Because everybody should go watch it. It's a fantastic <laughs> show. It uh, came out in the 80s, and if uh, you ever wondered what the 80s were like, I'm pretty sure it's a historical documentary. So, If you've, if you've ever wanted a mall to literally shit down your throat from, like, 1985, like a 1985 mall to shit down your throat, it, it would taste something like Jim and the Holograms, I imagine. Truly outrageous. Truly, truly outrageous. And uh, by the way, guys, for those that are listening, he, he has even opened up a little discussion thread on Box of Danger, <laughs> and it's pretty much already becoming a hit. It's got like five posts, it. so it's going... Yeah, it's pretty much the greatest thing. I'm, I'm guessing that's why most people go to the site. Box <laughs> thread, nothing on there. The Gem of the Holograms thread. That's Traffic. it. That's it. That's what they go for. You click refresh, it's 100 new posts. Amazing. I don't know how they do it. And we just got a few more people addicted. But anyways, moving on to the questions. All right. Um, first one being like, how did you guys actually get started with this? You want me to take this one? Sure. All right. Uh, well, we uh, both went to the same high school, and no, that's incorrect. <laughs> we both went to the same high school. And uh, I I think you had uh, discovered uh, Lanny Pator by that point, I, and his, I, I had and Ishii Haka show, and I had you introduced me to that, and I found some other stuff, and uh, Megami Thirty Three was uh, big when it first uh, came out for me, and we both went, well, you know, we should we should abridge something because we we have no idea how to edit or do anything technical so this would be a good idea how to write a script so we're just like well what should we abridge and we're like uh i don't know we don't really like any of the bleach abridged out there and i'm like i've never seen bleach at all and jerry's like i call jerry from time to time by the way um it happens. like yeah whatever it'll be fine <laughs> so i watched like the first 3 episodes and uh it was like the show doesn't sound very entertaining He's like, it's not till season two. So we uh, wrote and a script. And then it stops immediately after that. It's amazing. <laughs> it's, it's fantastic because the show doesn't continue on for another 500 filler episodes. Um, 
Yeah. So we decided, uh, we wrote up a script, which was really horrible, and recorded Ooh. everything in one day. Uh, with, uh, all our cast in the same room uh, with the window open and a lawnmower outside. <laughs> so if you've ever wondered what that weird buzzing sound coming from Bleach Abridged was, episode one, lawnmower. that is a lawnmower outside. And uh, that was a hell of a day. And It was, it was actually pretty good. You should try that again sometime. <laughs> no, we shouldn't ever. <laughs> I'll get the lawnmower. <laughs> But yeah, that's uh, that's how we got into bridging, and then uh, later we discovered or we remembered Law of Awakey actually because we'd known about it before. But we finally watched. This needs to be a bridge. Uh, there's yeah, no like, way. Is, there's no way this can't be a bridge. This is the most amazing thing that <laughs> has ever been produced by humans, more or less. And uh, the rest, uh, as you say, is history. Also, speaking of Law of Awakey. Um... Wasn't it you, Steve, that introduced Cage to this series? That's correct. He's introduced I everybody to this series. Yeah. <laughs> if not, somebody watches Love Wiki, it's his fault. Yeah, that's true, because um, I think it's actually um, been published by the person who wrote it that uh, 23 people have uh, watched Love Wiki in its entirety as of last year. <laughs> <laughs> Which is odd, because uh, at least three of those are you. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my god everyone um, should go watch the show it's on youtube in it's entirety and it's so good it's, it's wonderful it is an Truly, experience if, if you think that um that sometimes they're like you see it in, in anime and it's like this is the same as every anime out there i need something <laughs> that's even more the same than this is but tries to be weird in ways that don't even make sense <laughs> Then this show is for you. Love Wiki is right up your alley. Mm-hmm. Also, if you hate things um, that look nice, you'll love it. <laughs> yeah, if you just really despise like anime or just or like an- animation or tweening. Yeah, if you uh, if you hate quality, then you'll <laughs> love this. <laughs> and, and if story has always pissed you off, like story or uh, plot development has just been a a monkey on your back. Yeah, like if you're Wiki. watching. If you're watching a TV show and you're like, why doesn't this show tell me what happens in the middle of the story in the first episode? It's called In Medias Res, okay? It's invented by the Greeks. <laughs> That's clearly what they were going for. Definitely. Yep. For the, that's for all the people who see in love with Wiki. Mm-hmm. That's for the 19 people who aren't here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> God damn it, Steve. It's not my fault. It's kind of your fault. It is a little bit. All right, anyways. Um, let's see. The next one uh, being, like, uh, what was uh, your reason for wanting to actually breed? Uh, what the fuck was that about? Um, <laughs> I, I tried to, I tried keep to that say... keep that version of the question in there. <laughs> a breed? Why do we a breed? <laughs> anyways, um... What was your reason for wanting to abridge Kiki's delivery service? Um, do you remember the story it was, of that? It was – I remember that we wanted to do a movie of some sort, and I – oh, no. No, what we were going to do was we were going to do a um, a movie project with, with just a bunch of people. It ended up falling apart and just being yeah. me, Andrew, and then uh, Zach was in on – Cardboard Larry and Dennis. It was supposed to be competition originally. Like multiple people were supposed to do the same movie, and then uh. Wait, no, I don't. I don't yeah, think that was it. That was it, was it originally. Yeah, Chicago X. Oh yeah, that's right. If but we still... were, we were, and we were trying to decide on a movie, and it was. I think we had boiled it down to either uh, Gundam Last Waltz or something. Gundam yeah. Endless Waltz or uh, Endless Kiki's, Waltz, that's it, yeah. or like a Hamtaro <laughs> movie, which you can't find anyway. And uh, yeah, Endless Waltz, I would love to do, but that movie is impenetrable if you haven't seen every single episode of Gundam Wing. <laughs> like, <you> know, <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> that might make it more fun actually. But um, but we we decided on Kiki's delivery service, and um, not everybody will agree, but I think it's probably the most boring and least entertaining of Miyazaki's film. I, so. If you thought My Neighbor Totoro was too exciting, try some, <laughs> my, try some and people love it. I don't get it, because I don't think it's a terribly well-directed or put together in characters are a wet noodle who no one cares about. <laughs> I don't even... Yeah. I don't... 
think that I she could cares push about. somebody off a cliff. It might be Kiki. I, I can't fly, man. Well, uh, uh, since uh, about growing up, <laughs> sorry, you <laughs> don't get it. <laughs> Since you uh, sort of remember Gundam Inland Swaltz, do you actually might consider doing it now? Uh, like I said, impenetrable to watch, but um, maybe like in the distant future if we ever decide to undertake a movie again, because that, that could be fun. They're a lot of work. I think they are a lot of fun. Yeah, it's just I mean I feel like Endless Waltz would be easier because I'm I haven't seen it but I'm guessing it's less well animated than Kiki's Delivery Service. Uh, no, it's yeah okay yeah it's, it's less yeah animated it's yeah that's that's what all anime tries to be. That's what a lot of Gundam is. Yeah. Yeah. Laser effects. Whoa! Put a motion blur and a pan on that. It's like they're moving. <laughs> oh man, that's fit. Uh, filmation, filmmaking techniques right there. <laughs> Show a pan and hope that people don't notice that they just ate eight minutes of the runtime on one layout. Would you try to throw in some Michael Bay stuff in the mix? That would actually be really hilarious with how Endless Waltz plays out. Um, Isn't it really melodramatic? And Because they shoot a little girl, and that'd be a great time for an explosion. <laughs> yeah. That would be a great time for an explosion. That would also require editing and time <laughs> okay, i don't like then. to do it's edit and spend time on things like editing okay yeah. then that brings up the next question why do you hate editing so much Steve? yeah wh why is that uh i probably won't hate it as much now i kind of hated it before because my computer hated running premiere <laughs> and would like stagger through the editing process it was hard to even get the sound synced up in fact it, it kind of didn't ever, but, um... You want to render? Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, uh, come back, like, uh, two, three days. <laughs> we'll, we'll see, we'll see. So now, with his new computer, expect to just get at least three episodes this week of Uwaki, so... Yeah, yeah. Expect to, uh... See, the, the second obstacle is, of course, my my overbearing and crushing uh, case of laziness. <laughs> I believe lethargy is the uh, medical term there. Um, well, this isn't a medical condition, so it doesn't deserve a medical term. <laughs> oh, I, I, I now have Premiere, so um, I am, I'm working on a project right now that uh, I won't say what it suck. is. It's going to be awesome. I'm doing it with a boss trigger, everyone's favorite. I don't favorite. listen to him. It's going to suck. It, it's going to be awesome, and... It's going to be the best thing ever, so expect that in the next – before summer is over, I assume. Uh, I don't know what to expect. It's going to be great, though. Messages. It's about Ninja Jesus. That's all I'm going to leave you with, if you can figure out what it is, everybody. Bye. Well, you know she loves you, Steve. You don't need to hide that. She, she loves my soul. She, she eats my it. window. <laughs> I know she has. She can say that she hasn't been, but – your life is being recorded. I feel like I feel like she just doesn't communicate well. <laughs> Amala. All I ever get is yeah. All I ever get is this call is being recorded or uh, no, that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's kind of that's yeah. It's it's ridiculous. This is very like it's like talking to a wall. I find a wall that can say one specific <laughs> phrase. Are you also holding that relationship back? Yeah, that's that's a problem. <laughs> non-existence i don't know i don't know where to stick it <laughs> and with that out of the way we're gonna move <laughs> on to another question um it's the best promos for this <laughs> yeah yeah some good writing material anyways um next one being if you could give any advice to anyone that wants to do this type of thing what would you give them uh, oh, okay. Um, for your first, don't do bleach. Don't do bleach. Well, you can do bleach. Not at all. Um, I would stay away from shonen shows just because they don't end, and it yeah, makes yeah, it a little short. hard. Because if you want to ever stop, you just have to go like, "Well, I'm done. Sorry." Or, or you make an episode where all of the characters get blown up by a nuclear <laughs> bomb after you explain to them what, that the series is ending and that you're going to do a new series. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um. Stop doing in the first minute of your episodes. 
Uh, it's really easy to not do, so just don't do it. Oh, oh, I got one. Um, uh, don't sing a good chunk of a Disney song unchanged. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a, a good, good thing that's, to I avoid. Like that's, a, that's good. Um, and have some level of tech. If you're using Windows Movie Maker, stop. <laughs> like, <laughs> piracy is really easy. Like, I, I just... <laughs> Right. Not that we condone piracy or I anything. I totally will condone piracy, and it's really easy. So go get Premiere and learn how to use it. And uh, seriously, a mic that works is – the one I'm using right now is $20 on Amazon. Uh, they're cheap, and you don't need to be using your laptop mic from halfway across the room. That's how I record. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, um. also, don't just make offhand references to – <laughs> that will win you no points. We are not addressing a specific abridge series because that'd be bad. That would be very like unprofessional. It'd be and rude. totally unprofessional. See, rude of us. This is like the the uh, this is like abridging is the definition of professionalism. <laughs> yep. I feel like uh, my dictionary. <laughs> yeah, I I can't think of anything that's more professional than that. I'm not even gonna try. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good question. Anyone on a forum talking about abridging is probably more professional. So that's a that's a better yeah, that's probably more professional. <laughs> wow. Yep. Again, not anyone specific, so nobody specific. No, no. Alright. Yeah. Okay, we just got done uh, with E3 this past week, and I know you guys uh, have your own little video game websites that you post or whatever yeah. on so I want to ask, like, uh, what did you see this past week that you thought seemed interesting? Um, um, first and foremost, the thing that I thought was most interesting was the lack of a new Law of Uweki video game. <laughs> I forward to that. I, every year, every year, I expect them to announce it. It hasn't happened yet. It uh, would be a show stealer. <laughs> The more I look into uh, E3, the more I take from it, because what I found on watching TV is just they show all the big name titles, and they all look boring, and yeah. they all look like Greylo, so. Greylo. But uh, the stuff I'm looking forward to is, um, what is it? it's like River City Rampage or something. It's like a, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like an 8-bit good. GTA uh, clone, and it looks amazing. Like, I, uh-huh. I, 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 I don't even have a Wii or an Xbox, but I need to find a way to play that game. Um, yeah, it's cool runnings. <laughs> I, I, three. That's like my game to want. It's Deus Ex Three. I, I don't know about that one. I'm not sold on it yet. It's Deus Ex Three. <laughs> yeah, they I know. Realized but... They realized the second one was bad, so that means the third one's gonna be good, right? I, I mean, there's none of the same people working on it, and Square Enix is involved. But they're and... all dead. I don't care. More Inspector's not dead. More Inspector's probably dead. Um. I have a reason to believe I, I think my favorite announced title, though, was uh, Sly 4. Mm-hmm. I am a huge Sly fan, and I am so excited for that. I'm not going to lie, the most excited I got from E3 was watching new footage of Skyward Sword. <laughs> Big Zelda fan. That's always going to win in my book. Uh, we could spend an hour debating about the Wii U, but we won't do that here. Yeah, no, that's not the appropriate. No. <laughs> If anyone wants to hear us debate about the Wii U, just post in the comments and we'll put up a half an hour video of us debating. Of the introduction to that debate. <laughs> It'll do it. I'm calling you out, Steve. The real debate is going to take place October 16th, Pontiac Silverdome, which I'm, I admit will be a bit of a trek for you, but... uh, It will be, and... Like 20 uh, minutes for me, so I'm good. I'd... <laughs> I think we should, like, meet somewhere in the middle, like the Bilo Center in Greenville, South Carolina. <laughs> Was that the middle? It's, like, the middle. We'll meet in, uh, I don't know, Lower Pennsylvania. Lower Pennsylvania. That's, like, way out of the way for both of us. No, it's not. It's just kind of, it's a triangulation. It's math. <laughs> so, video game. <laughs> I think uh, what you need to tell them is how excited you are for Saints Row the Third, Steve. Oh yes, I'm very excited. Big Saints Row fan there. I am. I've been playing the second one for a couple of years now. <laughs> really good. <laughs> um, if 
in in that game you're able to uh ride a motorcycle up the side of buildings and in the third one they've already topped that with whole cans that blow people up so <laughs> to that. yeah um e3 was initially disappointing but it turns out there's actually good stuff they just didn't show it because they were too busy showing Disneyland Connect. <laughs> <laughs> Which is probably what E3 is for, showing games like Disneyland that. Connect. Yeah. They're not games like it. <laughs> exactly, Disneyland, Disneyland Connect. Connect. There's E3 also, has been building up to this moment. Yeah, there's also Sesame Street, uh, Me and My Monster. Well, I already have that pre-ordered, so it's kind of a <laughs> mute point, right? Wow. I don't even own the system, I'm just getting it. Because <laughs> I know it'll be great. Yeah, that's something you drop at your press conference. <laughs> hey, uh, video game <laughs> editor people. <laughs> Do you guys like Sesame Street? Anything that you guys are currently watching right now in abridging or television or movie that you would recommend people? Uh, oh, God. For abridging stuff, uh, there is some fun things out there. I'm going to go to YouTube right now. Just <laughs> I, to get, uh, I haven't uh, watched an oh. abridged series in so long. <laughs> It's been months. Because he's lazy. Even the ones I like. Yeah. Um, it's not laziness. It's just like I. I guess it is laziness because I. I was just gonna say it's like I gotta plug in my headset and then like listen to things. It's <laughs> awful. It's just terrible. Um. What's out there? Uh. Cardboard lawyers. Um. Nh. Welcome to the NHK abridged finale is gonna be one of the best things to happen in abridging in a while. So uh. Is awesome. That's going to be really sweet, and uh, I think I'm in it. Yeah, you are too, I believe. So, if you do your lines, you're in it. Right. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a good. There, there happens to be a good uh, Bleacher Bridged out there. Uh, get Sugar Bridge. Possible. Everyone should go uh, watch them because their first episode's mad, but their second episode, I really, really enjoyed it. So, so go watch them and stop so asking. Go, you go the watch them. And stop. <laughs> you want a good speech, like go, go to those people because they clearly have their shit together. <laughs> um, Falero, uh, despite his Naruto the Abridged movie, which is like one of the better parody works to come out in a long time, uh, his Street Fighter movie thing was really good. So uh, I don't know if he needs more press, but the guy with more subscribers than us, yeah, go check him out. <laughs> go, yeah, that's like everyone that we've been suggesting, except get so mm. get Shug, whatever cat. Uh, ketchup. Ketchup, yeah. I believe that's the correct way to pronounce it. That's what that's what Steve's been watching. Ketchup. So if you I've want, I've been watching ketchup. No, I, <laughs> what? Uh, let's see. Recent, like I like I I wasn't sure I wasn't sure what ketchup looked like after it had expired. So I just started watching <laughs> it and I was observing um, the chemical changes on a microscopic level. How's that going for you? Pretty good. Pretty right. good. It's uh, <laughs> breaking down faster than I would have expected. That's interesting. I would not have expected that from that. Yep. We are interesting people. We are. It's our lives, people. It, it, see, in, conversations wouldn't even be interesting if people like you and Steve were not around. Just That's true. I, yeah, I, know. I just assume that any conversation <laughs> that I'm not a part of is unbearable. Probably why I'm not a part of them. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, I don't talk about that. <laughs> that was on my my don't mention list. <laughs> Any reason why? It's painful. It's painful. To I just said don't mention it. That's bringing yeah. it up. Okay, let's just drop it. Let's just drop yeah, it. Yeah, we'll just. Yeah, come on. We picked it up. We're putting it back down, and it's gonna go run into the woods again. Okay. Let's put that genie right back in the bottle. Just rub it backwards. If you rub it the other way, it goes into the bo- the uh, lamp. All right, if you could pick two abridgers to duke it out in the world, who would they be and why? Like to actually fight, like the physical selves? Either that or just some kind uh, of No, I'm taking their physical selves. Um, see, Noah can take on Cardboard Lawyer. Because um, he's, despite his voice, he's a massive guy, and she is just so tiny and faints <laughs> at the sight of blood. So uh, I think she has the underdog effect going on there and could really overcome that. So, uh, yeah, that's who I pick. I'm going to say wow. Scourge Master 93 is the guy who uh, did the high school of the Debtor Bridge that we may or may not have referenced earlier. <laughs> H-O-T-D Bridge. Uh, yeah, no, I would love to see that. That'd be a great fight. Yeah, I mean, they could both potentially get hurt. <laughs> Again, nobody's specific. No, no, nobody's agonizing not, anybody. No, that's... 
that would be bitter and and hateful. Yes. And I'm not a bitter and hateful person, that's for sure. I'm anything but bitter and hateful. Yeah. I'm just so full of love. So yeah. full of fucking love. But uh, yeah, wasn't Scourge Master one of your like past loves, or what was that all about? Well, we had a thing going on. <laughs> I had one long Skype conversation with him professing my love, and he, he didn't really answer and ended up blocking me. I don't think he thought it was real, but I can guarantee you right now, um, to be recorded forever, that it was 100% legitimate, and I say that with without any uh, sort of sarcasm or uh, joking around at all. There's none there. It was it's beautiful. Dead. It's Yeah. What we had was special. Even if he didn't acknowledge it, it was there. Wait, and then blocked you out of his life forever. Yeah, yeah. He's he's <laughs> probably as a whole in his heart that is just. And Unfold, see, this is this yeah. is even better because I I've never talked to the guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've so either. If, I haven't talked to either of those some, people. So, if for some reason he watches this, then this is for you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Come back to Papa. <laughs> be hilarious if you watch oh. this <laughs> he might but yeah. I don't know. that's definitely going in okay that makes the cut the final question is if you could go back in time at anywhere in the world where would you go and why anytime before the internet wouldn't really work for me and um i didn't i didn't really like dial up either so that would be a problem so Let's just say, like, yesterday. Uh, I would go with 300 BC, uh, classical age, Greece, Athens. That uh, sounds terrible. Yeah, I don't speak their language, and I would look really out of place, but, um... Yeah, and... I think it'd be neat. I'm a big fan of the... I mean, if you just got to so see it, so maybe. Not... Yeah. Well, you know, I would, I would want to go to, um... I would want to go to uh, the past, just the vague past, where um, <laughs> where that the the person who directed the the other animated Titanic movie clearly came from, where Atlantis <laughs> existed, yeah. and uh, they raise talking toys and mice and stuff, and have potions that let you live forever. I think yeah. being there would be pretty cool. That would be uh, fairly interesting. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to go to wherever Turok took place. I think that's just that kind of weird civilization where there's they have the invention of steps, but there are still dinosaurs, but they're really easy to kill. So I want to go there. So something like oh, man, Jurassic just, Park, in a way, wouldn't if it? If it's just general places, yeah. then Pokemon Land for sure. Nothing bad happens there. <laughs> the worst thing that happens is you've got some Pokemon, Pokemon, and then if you say no, they attack you with like a coughing and a Zubat. <laughs> So yeah, Pokemon. Pokemon. That's where we'd both go. I that's, think. that's where this is. This that's where this entire interview has been building up to. <laughs> this entire time. This is the, the apex that's what we were of planning. yeah. We wrote this down earlier. We we're <laughs> like <"Ugh>, Pokemon. <laughs> don't know when, don't know how, but it's gonna happen. Except we know exactly how. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, I there. think. I think out of every interview that I've done, this has probably been my most favorite out of all of them. Winning, people. Come on. Yeah. The Sam. Yeah, y'all won a tack award in 2009, and now you just won for best interview of all we time. Win? We won best interview. No, I mean in 2009. What did we win? Yeah, 2009 it was uh, for Kiki's. Baby. It was for Kiki's, remember? Oh, it was. Yeah, best movie because yeah. there was a lot of competition. I remember that. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Yeah. There was some competition. Can I build something so people can be disappointed by it later? Just a quick promo. Yeah, sure. Yeah. That's not for my own shit. Um, we're doing up upcoming a musical episode of Love Awakening. Oh god, that's gonna be terrible. It's gonna be so terrible, but you'll all love it. So yeah, you uh, will because it's ter- because um I I am unable to sing. <laughs> I don't know if Uwaki will be doing much singing. <laughs> he will be. He's going to be singing all of his lines. I'm not sending it to you for approval or anything there. No. No, dear God. You never send them to me for approval. I know I don't, but I especially won't this time. <laughs> Make a note of it now. But yeah, that's that's going to be coming up. And uh, if we haven't committed suicide over it, uh, 
expect more good stuff in the future. Sure right. enough, somebody will leak the the beginning of the footage or something like that just to show what little progress you guys made. Well, it would just be Steve, so I mean, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's easy enough. K five hundred stole episode twenty four. <laughs> I sent it to him, and he won't give it back, so <laughs> that's what's delaying it, people. That's it. <laughs> so blame Cage 500 for why the reason 24 is about. We're, we're just going to blame Cage 500 for pretty much everything, because he is Cage 500. What a douche. The 500 stands for my fault. <laughs> Special love interest Binary. of Sam the Greek. <laughs> yep. <laughs> But anyways, aside from that, that pretty much ends the interview. Again, thank you to both for this wonderful evening. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. I'm not saying thank you. I'm not grateful at all. I'm just oh. that kind of a person. Well, I'm grateful. I'm I'm the goodness. He's all the evil. So we'll just... Yeah. We'll it just evens it out. He's, you're pretty much the uh, Oreo cookie, and he's pretty much the uh, white... That's racist. We don't go there. That implies that there's more darkness than my delicious quadruple stuff goodness. So, <laughs> full on that one. All right. Anyways, for those that are just by curious to watch Lava Wacky Bridge, just go onto their account at youtube.com slash the Scooney Cave. Anything you guys want to say before we end it? Um, First three episodes are kind of meh, but it gets good after that. Uh, fuck all the bitches. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to change my answer to that one. Oh, and get paid. <laughs> yeah. Oh, damn it, Steve. Anyways, that's <laughs> it for the interview. Thanks again for both these fine gentlemen for coming on. This is Chicken Wings and Tax saying goodnight.